Program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Ready? All right. Load it. And... Good. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's get out of here. Tonight... Yeah! Woo! 20 criminals with appetites for destruction. Oh, no, no, no! Experienced oh, felons... Up like this? Not fair. I'll put against his neck. Oh, like this? Oh. Striking fear... Listen up. ...in the hearts of their victims. Give me some drugs. Not without a prescription. How'd you like a stool sample? Featuring our team of celebrity experts imparting legal analysis... I would like to uh, refer to the case of finders versus keepers. ...and first-person experiences with the law. I know nothing. True TV presents World's Dumbest Criminals. It all starts now. Come on, let me out of here. A Kansas City woman attempts to return her fast food order. Hello, can I help you? Yo, I need another wrap, because my wrap was cold. You need to give me a new wrap right now. It was not hot, it was cold. If the shit is cold, it ain't no good. Okay, let me go check. Hang on a second. Um, I'm sorry, that was the last wrap. Excuse me, what you say? You ain't got no more wraps. You ain't got no more wraps. Moments later, she returns to lodge a formal complaint. Oh, hell no! Ma'am. How about this for no wraps? Yeah! Whoa! How you like that? What are you doing? You treat me like a witch? I'll treat you like a witch! Now melt, bitch! How about donation for your sorry ass? They don't know who they talking to! She tearing up that restaurant! <laughs> she did overreact uh, quite a bit. What's this, the computer? Ain't no computer no more, is it? No, there you go! Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, don't kick the computers, okay? All right? Hey, it ain't cool. How about donation for your sorry ass? This is like the Hulk if he had absolutely no muscle definition. Oh, hell no! Is it last time you see my ass in this place, too? You'll be sorry. The picky eater storms off after causing $3,000 in damages. Police quickly identify the woman and go to her home where they discover her hiding in her bedroom closet. Damn, you cops is good. Which is a great hiding spot if you're five years old, hiding from imaginary monsters. How you like that? She's charged with felony property damage. When you're willing to inflict bodily harm and property damage for a rap. There you go. Chances are you have a food addiction. What's up? Or chances are these wraps are just that damn good. Oh. Mm. Yeah, whoa. How you like that? ATM robberies tend to be crude affairs, often involving heavy chains and a pickup. But these South African bandits think they have a better way. Okay, mate. Roger it over there. Yeah, that's it. Harder, harder, yeah. All right, man. We're gonna rob this ATM. But how about we ain't got a truck or chains? We've got something better. Weapons-grade explosives. Cut. Yeah. Get it in there. Make a big hole as you can, yeah? You heard the man. Make a hole with your pole. I hate when people don't know how to use the machine. Just press enter. God. All right. Look at me stop, eh? Hey? Right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stuff it in there. Stuff it in. Excuse me, you need an ATM card. Really? All right, load it. Go, 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 let's go, 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 right, right. Oh, you're gonna blow it up, all right. My bad. And good, all right, let's go. Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hmm, guess it wasn't done. Here's why you don't explode an ATM to get money. Because money is made out of paper. And paper is flammable. Yeah, I'll take a hamburger. Oh! 
The men escape unharmed, but the blast destroys most of the money in the ATMs. Don't you boys see? You're bombing the very thing you love. Money. Pick it out. A man approaches the counter of a drugstore in Palm Bay, Florida. Excuse me. Come here. Yeah. This is a robbery? Could you give me all your money? Hmm? Hmm. All of it. Can you just give me the money? Can you make it quick? Hmm. We'll put you yeah, all that money, one cent, twenty cents. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Take it easy. Wow, that was one of the calmest robberies I think I've ever seen. I always thought you needed a gun or a knife to rob a convenience store, but it turns out you just need a cashier with a peanut allergy. Look, whatever you do, just get the peanut breath out of my face. I can't take it anymore. The masticating bandit spills a few peanuts as he runs out of the store. The cashier calls the police. The cops should be checking the peanuts for the DNA. Hello? Yeah! Detective Lottie here. I found some nuts. I think I see some DNA. Ooh. We have found that he is most likely a 26 to 27 year old male. Something tells me he's a real nut job. You know what the dumbest part about this is? Um, we have videotape of the guy's face. Detectives scour the area and find 24-year-old Michael Malloy with $200 in cash and a bag of peanuts in his pocket. God, these peanuts really offered a full service to these cops. They left a trail towards the guy, and they caused him to reveal his face to the cameras. Go peanuts! Malloy is found guilty of robbery and sentenced to three years in prison. Three years in prison. This guy's gonna see all the nuts he could ever want. Coming up. You do not, you dumb fuck. That thing for me, man. A drug fiend goes to the source. Unfortunately, the pharmacist does not have a pill that will make you a better robber. Plus, I want you to put everything in the bag where I blow myself up, okay? okay you understand? Okay, okay, calm down. Oh, no. And is gonna blow himself up. What will we... Oh, luckily, we have many more L Look around. When World's Dumbest Criminals continues. A man enters a pharmacy in Minneapolis. Okay, I can do this. Okay, here we go. And check, check. Okay, and go. There we go. In disguise. You gotta wear the mask the whole time. You can't just get in the middle of the store and be like, and I'm a criminal now. Hello? Hello? Anyone back there? Okay, wait. He's wearing a clear mask? This is see-through, dick cheese. You go with more something like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Yo, yo, listen up. Listen up. Y'all need some pills, man. What? Give me all your drugs. Come on. What kind of pills? Anything, I don't care. Hey, dip, just get specific. Oh, what do you got, painkillers? Give me some painkillers. I, pain I don't, I don't have those kind of pills. What about with codeine? Stuff with codeine. I can't give you that either. Sleep aids. I don't know. Give me something. I got high cholesterol, osteoporosis, I'm an insomniac, I'm a little depressed, and I can't get a boner. Give me the pills now. Sir, I am happy to help you get all of the drugs, but it's going to be a 10 to 25 minute wait. I need some pills. I can't... You have to make an appointment with a doctor and get Look at me. I'm in a mask. I, I see that. Knife. Give me some drugs. Not without a prescription. Get that thing away from me, man. No, fuck. How'd you like a stool sample? What are you doing? Do not... Do you not see this knife? The pharmacist man went medieval on his ass. It was great. Are you crazy? Do you have a prescription? No. What? Oh, hey, come on, old man. Hey, come on now. Stop it, old man. Hey. Well done, Mr. Pharmacist. Well done. It looks like all those lion-taming glasses 
were worth it after all. The pharmacist suffers lacerations and a dislocated thumb. The drug fiend flees empty-handed. Now I gotta go home and drink. Unfortunately, the pharmacist does not have a pill that will make you a better robber. You do not! What are you doing? Officials and guests file through a security checkpoint at a courthouse in Florida. This visitor retrieves most of his belongings, but forgets his $1,000 designer watch. It's my day in court. Let's go. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. Let's go. I got it. All right. Thank you, officers. Please place your cell phones, personal items in the container, and then step through when the officer calls you, please. All right, just make sure you take all your belongings with you, people. Come on through. All right, next. Come on through, sir. There you go. Can you step uh, over here, sir? Just for a second. All right, all right, yeah, I know. All right, gotta pat me down. I know, yeah, I just know. Just got a quick pat down here. All right, do your thing, do your thing. Pat me down, pat me down. Waiting for somebody to take that watch, is, it's just agonizing. It's like a Hitchcock movie or something. Ooh. What's he doing over there? Well, that's not his. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, very bad. Okay, let's check over here. Hmm. Over here, a little something for me. Oh, yeah. Cameras are watching you from every single angle. They're gonna know it's your dumb ass in there stealing. Take your time, take your time. I'm clear. I might have a knife back there. Why don't you go look? Oh, okay. <laughs> it just tickles. Okay, sir. Yeah. All set. Thank you. All right, listen, you have a good day, too. Yeah, you all good? That's good. Thank you, all sir. All right. <clears throat> all right, then. You have a good day. Okay. What time is it? Hello. The owner of the watch eventually realizes it's missing and alerts deputies who study the surveillance video and identify the suspect. My name is Willie Earl Jeter. And I like watches. They find Willie in an upstairs courtroom facing cocaine charges. In his own defense, what Willie said is, is he didn't even need a watch, uh, but he liked the way this one looked. How did it look, Willie? Free? Willie is arrested for theft. Now he's gonna be on trial for theft and cocaine charges. Dumbass. Oh, what we got here? I got good time. I got all the time in the world, man. Time is on my side, you know what I'm saying? This is the police department. I need to uh, report a stolen vehicle and a lost child. He should probably lead with the lost child part of the equation. Kind of more important. Okay, where's the child? You don't know who took him. He was in the vehicle when it was taken. It's really sad when your child is taken. Mostly because taken is not a word. He was in the vehicle when it was taken. Tooken, past tense of the verb take, used in a sentence. I was taken aback by the negligence of this father. Where did you go? Were you in a business or something? No, I was at what, whatever this little strip club is. Wait, this happened at the Sassy Cat? You expect such behavior at your Puss in Boots or your Cinnamon Hippo, but the Sassy Cat? And you left your son in the, the truck away for you? He was sleeping. The Sassy Cat showroom doesn't have a daycare? Okay, what co what color is your truck? It's a purple Kenworth. How in the hell do you forget where you parked your semi? Police arrive and quickly locate the man's vehicle parked exactly where he left it in the club's parking lot. Trucks are so tiny. It's hard to see them once you've parked them. Turns out the man was too drunk to remember where he parked. <laughs> Inside the truck, police find his son watching cartoons. I ain't heard from daddy. What's going on? He pitched a perfect game of terrible parenting. All he was missing was making sure this gets televised. He was in the vehicle when it was taken. Oh, wait, he didn't miss that either. Perfect game.
There once were two men from Pawtucket. What's going on? Boss is driving me crazy, man. <laughs> you busted your ass again. Man, all the time, dude, over some because I went to the bathroom. Let's key his car. <laughs> you want to key his car? Yeah, dude. All right, all right. I'll just key the car. Give my friend a hard time. Let's see how your car like this, huh? Yeah, there we go. All around the bend, all the way around your car. How's your car feeling now, huh, big man? Big supermarket manager, huh? Oh, I'm cutting your car good. Oh, there we go. Most people key a car by walking around it nonchalantly. Cut your car, cut your car, cut your car, cut. He was literally stabbing car, it with the key. Car. Oh, you like this? How's your car feel now, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you later, car. Is it just me, or does anybody else think that taking the time to key a car that you know you're going to set on fire is just overkill? I kind of was a little disappointed that he didn't then drive it off a cliff <laughs> and end this whole debacle. Security alerts the man's boss, who jumps in the flaming car and drives it away from the store. Oh, my God, my car's on fire. I gotta get in. Help! Yeah, get in the burning car. Stupid criminal, stupid boss, stupid country. Firefighters douse the flames. Police review the surveillance tape with the manager, who identifies the culprit. Son of a bitch. This guy was this close to making employee of the month. The employees are arrested and charged with arson and conspiracy. Should have done what I did. Go do the boss's wife. Because you can't get arrested for that. <laughs> Coming up, a dumb robber trains his apprentice. Hold tight, hold tight, yeah. Like this? Knife in, I'll put against his neck. Oh, like this. See, ladies? You wanted equality in the workplace. How much fun is it now? Plus, a look back at one of our cast members' own brush with the law. Move your sunglasses. Come on. I like that the show kind of picks up on the cast members' side projects. When World's Dumbest Criminals continues. Los Angeles, California. Police stop a 48-year-old man with a skateboard inside a commuter rail station. Hey, Mr. Garrett. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Go ahead, Lay. You can have this one. It's yours. You starring you. Are you still doing that joke show? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting paid to laugh at people, right? Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Man. All right, yeah. <laughs> Thursday night's 9 o'clock. All right, I ain't gonna miss it. Oh, thanks for plugging the show, Leif. All right, all right. <laughs> Minutes later on the platform... Excuse me, Mr. Garrett. I see your ticket, please. Move your sunglasses. Come on. <laughs> you kidding me? When's the last time you used opiates? Don't look suspicious. Leif, stop sweating. Tell me you were uh, sweating because you rode your skateboard 12 blocks. Are you guys serious? Come on. I'd like to search your hands up, please. <laughs> Move your shoes, please. Guys, really, give me a break. Oh, you're busted. Late! <laughs> the search turns up a small amount of black tar heroin hidden in one of Leif's sneakers. Black tar? Why, Leif? Why? Oh, Lord! I like that the show kind of picks up on the cast members' side projects. Danny's boxing, Tanya Harding, she drives cars. Leave Garrett, he keeps heroin in his sneakers. Metro, we got 11.350, hands behind your back, please. Garrett is arrested and charged with possession of a controlled substance. He looked innocent in that picture, though, doesn't he? When I was growing up, I had pictures of Leif all over my wall, and now I have pictures of Leif's mugshots all over my wall. I love you, Leif. Leif spends two days behind bars before posting bail. I know nothing. Leif, I think that, yes, you should give up heroin and it would be in your best interest, but even more so, time to put the skateboard down. Take back the streets with John Enos. Yo, 
Hey, I'm John Enos. Now, the only thing I like better than making fun of criminals is laughing in their faces when I take them down vigilante style. Now, you too can be a crime-fighting machine like me with three simple tips. Turn your body into a weapon. Watch how this British woman uses my advice to neutralize a shoplifter. Stop him! Oh, 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 what's oh, this? Here we go! Oh, dear. Ah. Oh. Scorcher, you right bastard! Get up! Oh. Oh, damn it! Eat linoleum, dirtbag. What's this? What's going on? I'll take care of this myself. I'm Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh. There you go, ah. lad. Clean that up. Ah. Oh. Ah. A well-placed foot, and that crook's on a one-way trip to the slammer. Ah. Oh. Trip the robber, but pull the foot away in time to not trip the security guy. That occurred. Thanks a lot, you old bag. You've been very bad, sir. Turn your bicycle into a weapon. Watch how this Chinese man uses his bicycle to foil a couple of purse snatches from making their getaway on a moped. Up there! Oh, no. You should never steal a purse. Hello! Bam! How those handlebars taste, skis balls? Police showed up shortly thereafter and put the skids on the thieves' getaway. And finally, if you got too much to live for, get out of the way. Let somebody else be the weapon. Like at this convenience store in Portland, Oregon. Give me that money. No, no, what are you doing? Get your hands on it. Help! Get it out! Get out, man! Hit him again! In this case, the tackler was a local drifter. Get off! Hit him again! Hit him again! Hit him again! You heard of Homeland Security? Well, this is Homeless Security. Thank you very much uh, for protecting me from that robber. Now get the f out of my store. Do you mind? Now sit down, me. The robber got away, but thanks to the bum rush, the cops got a good look at his face. Smile, Dillhole. Oh. Well, there you have it. Three guaranteed methods to take back the streets. And just to be clear, I don't condone vigilante justice. Unless it works. At this jewelry store in Turkey, a man enters and tells the clerk he's wearing a homemade bomb. I want you to put everything in the bag where I blow myself up, okay? okay you understand? Okay, condom. Oh, no! An is gonna blow himself up. What will we... Oh, luckily we have many more... L look around. I blow me, myself, you, everyone, okay? Don't blow yourself up here. But the clerk soon sees that the bomb is made of paper, wires, and bars of soap. The thing about a bomb that's made with, with uh, bars of soap, after you set it off, um, your skin just feels uh, so soft. I'm not joking. Right here in the store, I go boom. Wait a minute. What is that, bottle of soap? What do you mean, soap? Okay, hold it! Oh, easy. You son of a bitch! Next time, take off the wrapper, okay? I look real. That may be a fake bomb, but the owner has a real gun. You come in here to blow me up with soap? You soap it, bastard! Oh, no! Get out! Ow. Ah, smash your head in! I don't think my boy's robbery plans included an old-fashioned pistol whipping. Oh, uh, what'd you say? Take that! Police and an ambulance arrive on the scene. God, a huge headache now. And the would-be robber is arrested. What do I have to have comical bandage on my head? Ah, that's the idiot that tried to rob the store with a fake bomb. Everyone, let's all point and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bastard! Oh, get out! Get out! Get on! Get out! Coming up. TV. It was like he was trying to steal the Jumbotron at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Plus... Who would break into a strip club? <laughs> oh, an animal. When World's Dumbest Criminals continues. It's 2.30 a.m., and all is quiet at this Texas supermarket. 
until a last-minute shopper slips in through a hole in the roof. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh. What are you doing? Steal something. Anything. A Q-tip. A cotton ball. Some baby food. He's actually looking for the ketchup. Excuse me, burglar. Ketchup is on aisle five. Nobody's in this store now, so what can I take? Um... Where would the money be? I have no idea. Shoot. Unable to find anything worth stealing, the thief heads for the exit. We need to regroup. Let's go. We're just going to get out of here. Let's cut our loss. Okay, let's go. He found his way in. How can he not find his way out? <laughs> oh, my God. You can't find the hole you came out of? <laughs> oh, that's right. Your mom's not there. Sorry. Um, whoops. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am so in trouble now. Let's go. Come on. Keep it together. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Focus. 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 There's no reason to panic. Yes, you are trapped. But no, uh, you won't run out of food. Okay, this way then. Come on. Oh, yeah. Front door. Front door. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got it. Damn it. Okay, this way. This way. Keep it together. Keep it together. This is the worst episode of Supermarket Sweep ever. Come on. You're better than this. You're better than this. Come on. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Let me out of that star store. Yeah, uh, we have a jackass on aisle four. Jackass on aisle four. The thief eventually escapes by breaking a window. Woo! See you later, store. This is exactly why you need to make a checklist before you go to the supermarket. Sugar, check. Uh, milk, check. Uh, exit strategy. Oof. Somewhere there's a way in, there's a way out. Oh my gosh. Last call at the Cordial Lounge in Lakewood, Colorado. All right. Owner TJ Sazama tallies up the day's cash receipts. Not bad. Not a bad night at all. I'll go talk to him. Okay, okay, I'll go over and talk to him. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll go over and talk to him. Go, go, go. Excuse me, sir. I yeah. Would... Oh. Get... Give me all your money! What are you doing? Come on, guys. This is the cordial lounge. Let's keep things polite here. Give it to me! Get out. I have a knife! Just give it to me! Yeah, there you go. There you go. I love how this guy is making the chick do all the work in this robbery. Hold tight. Hold tight. Yeah. There you go. Like this? Knife in. I'll put against his neck. Oh, like, oh, like this? Yeah, okay. You got, you got. See, ladies? You wanted equality in the workplace. How much fun is it now? Hey, let me show you, right there. There you go. I love TJ. He was not giving it up, baby. I said no! Huh, you like some beer? Dude foils a robbery, outnumbered two to one, and manages to preserve the beer supply. Huh, you like some beer? Just like turn it off. There we go. Turn it off, don't waste it! No, not my beer! <laughs> he also managed to wipe down the bar and polish some glasses. Get him, girl, get him! And as the pool cue came toward him, he chalked the tip. Pool cue, come on! TJ holds the attackers at bay until police arrive. Hands in the air on the ground right now. That's how my dad. Okay, 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 my hands up. They're arrested for aggravated robbery and assault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wherever this woman receives as a sentence, this guy should get double for not being man enough to pull a robbery on his own. Yeah. Ow. Ow. There you go. After hours at a California gentleman's club. Who would break into a strip club? Oh, an animal. <laughs> that is one horny goat. Everybody wants a piece of ass now and then. Come on, girl. Come on, come on, wherever you are. It's possible that the goat broke in because he saw his reflection and thought it was another goat that he wanted to ram. But I think the goat just wanted to see some tits. Where the bitch is at? Where they at? My God, I can't Where are all the titties? My. You know, this makes it look bad for all the goats that go to strip clubs without incident. 
Come on, sweetie, what's the matter? You never gave a goat a lap dance before? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Make it rain. What about human hands? I think I'm going to eat this. Is that cool with you guys? The Beast caused $2,000 in damages. Do you know how many lap dances these girls are going to have to do? I don't. Authorities are still searching for the goat. I've always thought it would be cool to have a pet goat. Hey, what are you doing tonight, Mike? I'm going to the titty bar with my goat and my goat's friend, also a goat. I'm going to watch him eat the panties off a stripper's ass. It's going to be amazing. Man, girls. Ah, Billy told me they'd be here. A daring robbery is in place at the walk-in, walk-out Chinese restaurant in Lakewood, Washington. Oh, yeah. I can get myself a TV, man. Get myself this big-ass TV. Why do they need a TV at the walk-in, walk-out? Why don't the people just walk in and then walk out? What are they doing sitting around watching TV? Come on, baby. Let's go. That was the biggest flat screen I've ever seen. It was like he was trying to steal the Jumbotron at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Come on, girl. Get your 1080i ass in my house. Come on. Come on. You so bad. Has this guy ever heard of a little something called bolt cutters? What am I gonna do? Ah. Oh no, no, no! Oh, what's up? <laughs> it's broken! Oh, nice going, dumbass. Thanks to you, our ratings are in the toilet. We were huge in that joint. <laughs> I love this show. Oh, uh -huh. oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Hello there, handsome. Unmasked by the very thing he tried to steal. With the TV broken, the unmasked man moves on to plan B. All right, what else can I get here? Yeah, 24 big ones, man. 24 big ones. Woo. He went from an HD TV bandit to a soda bandit like that. Next time, you should just steal a soda machine. That way you'll get the soda and some money. Dummy. Coming up, a foreign TV reporter gets preempted by jewel thieves. It's not reality, it's robbery. Plus, meet one suspect who is easy to identify. Can we call the tattoo artist and whoop his ass? When World's Dumbest Criminals continues. In Switzerland, a Russian TV crew tapes a story at a jewelry store. Okay. Two bandits rush in and snatch the baubles as they're being filmed. It's not reality, it's robbery. You know, this is a really smart move on the robber's part, because people really let their guard down when they're on TV. <laughs> At least some people do. I wish this thing happened more on TV shows. It adds a certain level of excitement. <laughs> Security guards catch up with the robbers in the hallway. Face that way, face the wall. Put your ass up in the air. Bend over. There's two men being sodomized by Swiss guards with an old Russian woman watching. This isn't a crime scene, it's a Fellini movie. Authorities arrest the thieves, and the jewels are returned to the store. Guys, you really gotta start scouting your robbery locations better. For the next time, uh, may I suggest a place without television cameras.
And I called 911. That would be the first thing I said. And do you need a paramedic there? Or do you just need a ride? Uh, do I need a paramedic? Um, yeah, if the party's good enough, I'll need a paramedic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No? Okay. Hey, what road are you on? You can't miss me. My face is completely tattooed in red, and I got a bunch of tattoos. Did he just say he has red tattoos on his face? What road are you on? I'm on Low Road. Low oh, Road Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right between Street Street and Crazy Tattoo Face. Okay, sir, I need to know where you are so I can send you the cops. Police track down 37-year-old Gregory Oras. How much do you have to hate yourself to do that? Really? Yeah, uh, I want something that makes it look like I have... Uh... Herpes simplex 12 blisters. Horace is charged with misusing the emergency call system. Police do finally give him a ride. Straight to jail. Hey, man, you're going the wrong way. Hennessy's is the other way. Hennessy's is the other way. At a clothing store in Strawberry, California, a man browses the t-shirt section. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Hey, dude, tie-dye's out. It's out of style. Sorry, bro. This one looks cool. Cool, cool. Awesome. Let's try this on here. No reason to pay. If you don't have to, man. God put it on this earth, and I shall take it away. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how much does that shirt cost? Like $2? Why well, pay the man when you can take it for free? You can make a tie-dye shirt. It's very easy. Ask whoever you buy your weed from. Just go up into the mountains, get some buckets, throw some dye into those bros. I call buckets bros. And then throw some shirts into it with knots. Ta-da. He settles on a shirt he likes, puts it on, then puts his own shirt over it. <laughs> awesome. All right, ready to wear, man. <laughs> so, hey, when are you guys gonna get some cool tie-dyes? I mean, those are totally lame. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't see anything I liked. Can I just get, uh, get a lighter? Stevie Wonder could see that tie-dye shirt up under that white shirt, sir. Don't play dumb with me, Wavy Gravy. Cough up the tie-dye. You don't put white over tie-dye? Hello? I mean, it's like, you know, having a sore thumb and hitchhiking. You think anybody's gonna notice you're hitchhiking? <laughs> Are you gonna pay for that t-shirt? Huh? The one you're wearing under your t-shirt? Oh, whoa. I totally did not know that that was there, but definitely I don't want to pay for it. You're being busted with stealing tie-dye shirts. That's lower than low. Luckily for the robber, the store's owner decides not to press charges. Okay, cool. Thanks, dude. But she does post the surveillance video on the internet. As a thief, it's pretty embarrassing when the victim of your crime thinks how dumb you are is punishment enough. Oh, sure. Don't press charges. Just press play. Busted. No reason to pay the man if the man's not smart enough to watch. <laughs> awesome. You've identified 19 dumb lawbreakers. But the dumbest criminal in the world is still out there. Find out who it is when World's Dumbest Criminals continues. Good. All right, let's go. Come on. An armed thief 
stands over the register at a Chicago donut shop. Yo, why don't you give me all that money in the drawer there? All that money there. Give me all that money in the drawer. Yeah, let me get a glazed and a uh, uh, Boston cream and uh, put all the money in the bag. That's all you got? No, English. You ain't lying no, to me, no, are you? No, no. I said you lying to me? Uh, I'll come back. No, you lying. No, English. The man takes off with $167. 24 hours later... Hello? Hello? Si. Yo, it's, it's me from last night. Oh, my God, gonna get robbed again. Hello? Look here. I want to give you this back here. Turns out the robber came back to apologize and return the money. Is he really sweet or just totally stupid? Look. I'm sorry for what no. I did last night. Okay, Wrong. no. Wrong. I no. see that now. No, you know? no. Someone may have been caught by his mother. How do you rob a donut shop and don't take damn donuts? Oh, man. You need to go back to that store and return it. This is bull****. I'm telling you I'm sorry, and it's no. all good. No, no. Do you understand no. a word no. I'm no, saying? Thanks. This just ended up being kind of a forced loan more than a robbery. Can I hug you? Even gave her a hug as interest. I think he felt remorseful. He really felt bad that he robbed that lady. Can I just give you like a quick hug? Okay, no. Like a I'm sorry hug? No, that. Oh my God. He broke the first rule of robbery. Never, ever fall in love. No, I'm no. telling you I'm sorry, okay. and it's okay. all good. Okay. You understand? No, no. Do you understand a word I'm saying? No, no. Right, hold up. Let me write this down. Okay. Let me write it down. Okay. Let me no. write it down. There no, we go. English. Hold up. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. The idiot. She can't speak English. What the f*** makes you think that she can read it? Huh? Dear girl. Do you like me? Check yes or no. I am so sorry. Oh, look. She's crying in gratitude. Oh, no, that's terror. She's scared. The contrite crook leaves. I'll see you later. But is arrested later that day. He pleads guilty to robbery and is placed on probation. It's a good thing that you felt sorry you returned the money and everything else, but still, you went through it. Badass, just like your daddy. How you doing, man? So, so what's your name? Uh, um... Sean Cassidy? No, no, your name is Leif Garrett. Haven't we seen your name before? Oh, dude, I haven't been on the train in years. Yeah. Why are you all sweating? Because I was just dancing. Why are you looking suspicious? Huh? What's wrong with your eyes? No, it's just, um... Well, I'm going to try my drug sleeping dog out. Wait a minute. What you got in the shoe, son? That's not my shoe. And that is your shoe. This shoe? Yeah, let me see this shoe. Come here. Give me this shoe, man. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. Dude, that's not my shoe. I mean, it's not. Whose is this? It's the clowns. No, oh, no. This is yours. All right, buddy, that's it. That's it. Another one. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, no.